Do you want this directional blur? Of course you do, you retard. Be sure all your clips are adjusted and pre-composed. Once done, search and apply directional blur to your first clip. Next, go forward a few keyframes as I am here, about one-fourth of your video in, and click the stopwatch icon next to blur length to make a keyframe. Now go all the way back to the beginning of your clip and change the blur length value to 250. Next, click U on your keyboard and select both keyframes, left-click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now copy the graph I have shown here. Wait, wait! Before I continue, I need to let you know about my Discord server for editors. No matter what app you use with tools everyone can use. Also check out my PayHip with all of my color corrections that I use on my edits to make them look so clean. All link in the description and back to the video. Now search up Twixter and apply it to your clip. Make sure you have it on top of directional blur so this red screen doesn't pop up. Now make sure you are at the beginning of the click and click the stopwatch next to speed and change the value to 250. Go forward a few keyframes like I do and change the value to 60. I just went back and changed it to 180 since it looked smoother for this clip, but you test around to your liking. Now go near the end of the clip and change that speed value again down to 30, preview it if you'd like and play around with it if it looks necessary. Now go all the way to the end of the clip and change the speed value to 150. Once done search exposure and drop it to your clip. Go to the beginning of the clip. Click the stopwatch next to exposure and change the value to negative 2. Go forward a few keyframes and change the value to 1. Now go near the end of the clip and change the exposure value to 0. Now go to the very end and change the value to negative 2. From here preview it and change things around if it doesn't look too smooth for you as I am here. Once you're happy, click E and select all the effects and copy them to the other clips. If you need to stretch the clips, click U to show the keyframes, select all of them, and hold the last keyframe while holding Alt to stretch it. Just like that, you have made smooth directional blur. Look, you learned how to make that transition so easily. Now your edits are going to look so much cleaner. Want more tutorials? Then subscribe.